hey, today we're going to switch it up finally and get to this music, specifically one of my favorite artists right now, Benny the Butcher. But before we get into all that, I just want you to know we're going to have more content coming up, more music, more pop culture observation, uh, and just generally more of me talking my shit. So if you feel what I'm doing, please drop a like, hit the sub button, share this video, and leave a comment down in the comment section. Don't know where else you would leave a comment, but in the comment section, but okay. Thanks to everybody who looked at my previous videos. I appreciate the fact that we can grow together with this channel. Stay tuned, I'm not gonna let you down, but right now, let's get into this Mike Powers Minute. I'm from a time back in the day where you had to actually spit bars in order to be called a uh, serious lyricist. I'm talking about battles in the park, uh, no music, crowd standing around, the pressure was on, and nobody was giving you props for those bars unless you got the whole crowd to be like, ooh. Okay, so that's where I'm coming from. That's where I start. Let's not get it twisted. If you get people to hit you with the stank face like that, listen, that's what I consider a good spitter. Not some, you know, give me some creative shit. Not that shit I could just roll out of bed in the morning. I could have wrote it. Some people say, well, yeah, all they talk about is guns and, and dope and, and drugs and, and girls and money. I don't give a fuck. As long as you find a creative way to do it. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, I remember Mob Deep. Um, for all those who want to profile and pose, rock you in your face, stab your brain with your nose bone. So there's a thousand different ways to say the same thing. Let's just make it creative. That's the shit I appreciate. That's what New York brought us from the from day one. Don't get me wrong. I definitely get down with some party records. Everything don't got to be Nas or the second coming or some shit like that. But I can't put the crown on y'all goofy rappers or even put y'all anywhere near the goat conversation with these nursery rhyme ass. I came lyrics. up on Coogee Rap, Mob Deep, uh, Ice Cube, Pac, Biggie, fire shit like that. I can hear y'all haters now. Oh, he only talk about that old shit. Nah, man. I got a few dudes I'm feeling right now. I like Lupe, Kendrick Lamar. Believe it or not, I am I have become a Drake fan. And don't let me forget Odyssey. Go check that dude out. And my favorite right now, Benny the Butcher. He's from the Griselda camp out of Buffalo. That's right, I said Buffalo. And he's a serious problem out here right now. Taking shots alert in three. Two, just stop with your little Uzi verts, PB and J, young boy, young boy already broke again. That shit's not fire. Benny is a guy that hits me in the gut. The, the realism, the metaphors, the delivery is so smooth and calm. This dude got the whole package. Pause. Here's just a few of the, the, the songs I like from Benny right now. Dirty Needles, uh, Crowns for Kings with Black Thought, India, and five to 50. I'm gonna link some of these down in the description below. Sunday School with 38 Spesh. He's another motherfucking problem. Joe Pesci 38. That's my jam right there. He go hard on there. The beat, the lyrics, oh my God. The whole crew is crazy. The whole Griselda family is nuts right now. Benny the Butcher, Conway the Machine, West Side Gun. These guys is the new mob deep. I said what I said, nigga. Y'all motherfuckers running around like these dudes ain't it. Y'all don't represent real hip hop. Get the fuck out of our house. Not since Mob Deep and dare I say Sean Price. I know I'm about to forget some people. Go ahead and put me on blast in the comments. Has there been a crew that combined real lyricism with that grimy street feel? I call this that intelligent gangster music. Benny in particular has mastered this. I would quote some of his lyrics right now, but... I wouldn't be able to do justice to it. Uh, and I'm not going to disrespect the God like that. So you got to go check that out on your own. Listen, Griselda Records was formed in 2014. By 2017, they were signed to Shady. That's a pretty big cosign. We're going to talk about what Eminem said about Lord Jamar in another video. But that is saying something when Eminem signs you. I can't even remember the last artist that Eminem signed. It was 50 Cent, you dumbass. Right. Anyway, Benny just signed to Rock Nation Management. Now, these are power moves. These guys don't even have songs on the radio, no big budgets. They did this shit themselves on their own terms, and they still winning. This shit is so vivid 
so crisp and so clean. This is how I now judge niggas. If if I talk to a dude and he tell me I'm not feeling Dirty Needles by Benny the Butcher, I delete that nigga from my phone immediately. I'm still beefing with my little brother for capping for Silk the Shocker. My real heads know what's really popping. So if you are a grown ass man or a woman and you like to listen to maybe some Sade, some Jodeci, but you like some of that real intelligent, grimy street shit as well, I got you. Benny the Butcher got you covered. Go listen to Benny right now. I mean, not right now, but when this video is over. The gatekeepers of hip hop, now I'm talking about the real heads, we ain't going nowhere. And Benny and that Griselda team is proving every day that New York is not done staking its rightful claim to hip hop. It's gonna be real interesting to follow this crew, to watch the growth, and see how far, especially, Benny can go. But these dudes have already put out a more dense catalog in the shortest period of time that I've seen from any rapper in history. This shit ain't over, but this video is. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment on this video. Until next time, I'm Mike Powers. I'm out.